Summer season is usually a strong quarter for most AC companies. However, this year is expected to be a washout year for the entire sector as the companies are facing twid headwinds from both supply and demand. In our Ideas for Profit today, we will discuss the outlook on AC companies and whether they merit investor attention at the current levels. Voltas and Blue Star, the most popular AC companies, have delivered a stable performance in the first nine months of this fiscal year. For both these companies, the top-line growth has been largely driven by market share gains in the AC segment. However, slow execution of electromechanical projects offset the revenue growth for the former. Blue Star's execution in this segment was better owing to institutional demand for packaged and centralized air conditioning systems. Now, if you see, on the other hand, contract manufacturer Amber Enterprises' standalone revenues were actually they jumped on the back of significant jump in the AC volumes from the existing as well as the new customers. Now, recent acquisitions of Ever and Sidwal both boosted the consolidated financial performance for the company as well. The government continues to prioritize domestic manufacturing of electronics through the Make in India initiative as well. However, AC companies are highly dependent on China for key inputs such as motors and compressors. Now, the supply chain has been hit following the shutdown of factories in China due to coronavirus. Although the production has resumed again in March, but most of the manufacturers are operating at just 30 to 50 percent of their capacity. Now, most Indian companies have also sufficient inventories up to March and are actually looking at alternate sources to meet their business requirements as well at this stage. Now, due to COVID-19 lockdown, retail footfall falls are also collapsing and discretionary spending is taking a big hit following the closures of malls and also the shops. Now, while the current situation is expected to be quite temporary, that is up to about April, May, the AC companies are staring at a washout season this time due to the demand disruptions as Q1 is the biggest quarter for them. Now, uh, should investors buy right now or wait for some time? Well, low penetration levels along with the rising temperatures make a compelling case for the long-term growth potential of AC sector in India. And all the three companies that we talked about have a strong footprint in the sector and stand to benefit from the increase of AC penetration. However, the near-term outlook is challenging and for H1 2020, uh, we expect the sector to post 15-20% to 20 decline in profitability. Now, Blue Star and Voltas both have a dominant position in the sector and while the long-term outlook appears quite robust, investors should avoid these companies as the valuations continue to remain quite high and at the elevated levels. Amber Enterprises, on the other hand, is our preferred pick on money control research in the sector owing to the government policy support and also increased focus of brands to outsource the manufacturing. New client additions, operational efficiencies through back Effort integration and also the ramp up of subsidiaries should aid the growth in the long run for this company. However, the stock is up 35% in the last one year and the prevailing valuations of about 28 times FI21 estimated earnings seem to be factoring in the short term investment modes right now. Investors should therefore keep the company on the watch list and should wait for the June quarter results to accumulate the stock thereafter.